The Canadian government has both human and signals intelligence in months-long investigation into the murder of Hardeep Singh Nijjar, reports CBC News. Intelligence includes communications involving Indian officials themselves, including Indian diplomats present in India, says Canadian government sources as per CBC News. The intelligence did not come solely from Canada. Some was provided by an unnamed ally in the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance. Hardeep Singh Nijjar was shot dead outside a Sikh temple in Surrey, British Columbia on June 18th and reportedly had been warned by Canadian Security Intelligence Service that he was at risk. Canada's National Security and Intelligence Advisor Jody Thomas was in India over four days in mid-August, then again for five days this month. And this last visit overlapped with a tense meeting between Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. As per this report by CBC News, Canadian sources say that when pressed behind closed doors, no Indian official has denied the bombshell allegation at the core of this case that there is evidence to suggest Indian government involvement in the assassination of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil. The Canadian government so far has not released its evidence and has suggested it could emerge during an eventual legal process. India has refuted the allegations made by Canada, calling them absurd and politically driven. On Thursday, September 21st, India suspended the Canadian visa services temporarily and even said that Canada is a safe heaven for terrorists. Prime Minister Trudeau was present in New York where, when meeting with the media, he was asked questions if Canada is going to take a similar stand, to which he did not give a direct answer but reiterated that those allegations were not made lightly and he seeks India's cooperation on the matter. I'm saying, I'm repeating what I said on Monday afternoon, that there are um, credible allegations uh, that uh, we need to take extremely seriously as Canadians and indeed as a world. As I said, I had a direct and frank conversation uh, with the Prime Minister uh, in which I shared my concerns in no uncertain terms. We call upon the government of India to take seriously this matter and to work with us to shed full transparency and ensure accountability and justice in this matter. We are a country of the rule of law. We are going to continue to do the work necessary to keep Canadians safe and to uphold our values and the international rules-based order. That's our focus right now.